Hello, I'm Jeff Held, Extension Sheep Specialist at SDSU, and we're going to be offering them through iGrow uh, an opportunity to enhance wool value on, uh, in the upper Midwest. Today we're at SDSU where we have a shearing training program uh, being conducted now for the 25th year uh, to train young people and adults to, uh, to properly harvest wool for the uh, growers and in the region, South Dakota and beyond, to uh, capture the most uh, from their annual uh, harvest of, their, uh, of the wool. As we look at this fleece that we have, this is just shorn. Now, one of the things that producers can look at is not only uh, this is the day we shear, and uh, this wool is uh, raw wool, grease wool. We can see the skin side where it's clean, and uh, the tip, which is the outer part of the fleece, is, this lock came from the center of the of the sheep on its back. It's about two and a half inches long, and uh, you know this is a function of genetics and environment that uh, create this uh, annual wool clip. Today, in about two and a half minutes, we make a determination whether we're gonna enhance the value or uh, for this grower. The first thing is to have it properly sheared. The fleece is in one piece, and that's the, the style that we teach our shears is to minimize, minimize the number of second cuts, and these are second cuts that come from the fleece where they sheared part of the wool off before uh, having the comb and cutter uh, down, the, down, to the, down to the skin. But uh, the reality is that this wool, this is from a white-faced sheep, a medium-grade wool from, uh, from a uh, polypay-based sheep, which is very common in the, in the Midwest. And this sheep has value of the fleece, the fleece has value of about uh, 65 to 75 cents a pound. Now, the wool is sold by the pound. This is grease wool. And uh, what determines that value? The value is really determined by the end use. Now, this is not the kind of wool that would be used in, in a suit. This would be the wool that would be used maybe in socks or other manufactured items uh, in the woolen, uh, woolen category of wool uses. But it's still a very useful product and one that we can enhance its value. Keeping the product clean prior to shearing, making sure that, uh, 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 that we have this, uh, the shearing area clean so that each fleece is packaged we, we shear each fleece and we put it in the we put it in the proper packaging tools so that we can uh, uh, sell this product in this uh, in this style of, uh, of, uh, of baggage. This bag will hold about 250 pounds of wool. It'll be marked that it's from a white face sheep and it'll be valued accordingly, uh, uh, sent later on to the processor. And in many cases, that processor would be abroad. Very little scoured wool opportunities exist in the US. This wool uh, is about 50% about clean wool and 50% other uh, ingredients, including most notably lanolin, which is the, the oily part that helps, uh, that we expect to uh, find in wool. There's also some dirt in there, but the role of the grower is to make sure that wool is contaminant free as possible to help our entire industry gain the benefits from the, from the wool clip here locally and across the country.